Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and this is the Hate You Give review. And I got to see this on Friday night. I was a little hesitant about this film because when I saw the trailers, I knew this was based off of a YA novel, young adult novel, and I was a little hesitant because some of them could be really cheesy and melodramatic. And with this kind of subject matter, I was afraid. Especially with the year we have Black Klansmen and Sorry to Bother You and stuff like that and blind spotting coming out, I was afraid this film would not live up to those other films. And then I saw reviews very, very positively putting this up there and after seeing it, I really enjoyed this film a lot and I think it did some really great things. And I was wondering why the name of the film was the way it is. Shows my background, did not realize this was a reference to Tupac, Thug Life, and really what that means. And that is one of the big, heavy, thematic aspects of this film is that idea of Thug Life, the hate you give little infants, F's everybody. And I didn't realize that, and watching this film, what this film conveys in that way, is very powerful. And George Tillman Jr. does a really good job of slowly peeling back this film and driving up the tension, and it builds throughout. And I do have to say, I wasn't expecting this film to be a chunk over two hours. This is like two hours and 15 minutes. And it did feel long, and it did keep drawing out, and I was expecting it to wrap up a little bit easier in terms of its runtime and how it was pulling things out but overall i think this film does hit emotionally there are some moments where it's like really hard to watch and really impactful especially like obviously the big scene from the trailer is what drives this film is a young man is shot by a cop and that scene was really hard to watch all the way up to one of the final scenes that was really really hard to watch there's a couple of scenes dealing with cops and people of color and those scenes were so tense and hard to sit through and it says a lot from where you come from how you react to those scenes and it made me feel really uncomfortable and that's the point because it is it is bad and what was going on and you understanding where these characters are coming from versus you might not get as much from where the cops are coming from except there is a really well done scene including a cop character where you do get to understand why they do the things they do and I appreciated that it shed some light on that end too to make this a more rounded experience and understanding because it is really easy to just paint the other side as just completely hateful and not make like from a film perspective it doesn't make things as interesting but George Tillman Jr. does a really good job of creating this film and has a well hand on it. In terms of Audrey Wells, who's the writer of this film, a lot of the characters have a lot of depth. They're very interesting and they come from very different places and provide different perspectives. And I appreciated that because you get to see and hear a whole lot from different people in this film. The one thing is some of the characters are really one dimensional and some of the writing is really on the nose there's truly dramatic tense moments and then there was oh here's your message of the day kind of stuff and it was really explicit and in your face and i wish they could have found a little bit of balance to that because those were the moments that did take me out of the film composer dustin o'halloran the music for this film was done very well and really helped build the tension and then the musical choices in terms of songs really said a lot about the character so I could appreciate that and Mahai Malay Murray Jr. I probably completely butchered that so I apologize the cinematographer for this film something else that I appreciated was this was really well shot and they did a nice job of really capturing camera movements and really giving you a sense of like the neighborhood there was particular shots of like camera moving through the neighborhood into homes and stuff like that and vice versa really helping you capture that feeling of inclusiveness it's like this is their home this is their neighborhood 
And there are some lighting changes depending on particular scenes that I appreciate in this film that really captured the feeling because this young woman star, there's two stars. There's the one where she's home and then there's the one where she's at this preparatory school and who she really conveys. And this film deals with a lot of great themes including that and really being true to yourself and not having to put it on for other people. And it deals with a lot of different, like, the cop issues. And there's a very interesting line of where it's like, it's for white people, it's cool to talk hood. And then, and using slang, and for a young black woman, it makes her a thug. Or she's from the ghetto. And speaks volumes. And, oh, some of the kids at that school were so cringeworthy. I'm just like, God, stop. And it was obnoxious, and it's just like, why do you think you could talk like that to people? But whatever. And some of the young characters weren't as interesting in this film. The uh, Our main character and her best friend who gets shot, they are very interesting characters and have a lot of dimensions to their character and personality. And a lot of the adults, the father, the uncle, they are really memorable characters and bring a lot to this film. In terms of the cast, Amanda Stenberg, who plays Star, a main character, she really brings it and she really sells the emotional moments of this film. Regina Hall does a really good job as her mother. She's very powerful. She really sells that loving mother and she's a tough one, you can tell. And then Russell Hornsby, who plays Maverick, her father, does a really good job and there's some really tense, powerful moments of his performances in this film that I really appreciated. Anthony Mackie and Common play smaller roles, but do them well. And Algie Smith, who is in Detroit, who plays Khalil, the young man who gets shot in this film, who isn't in it that much. And the scenes that he is, he does a really good job, and you can really feel that chemistry and that friendship between him and Amanda Stenberg's character, Star. And overall, the performances are really good. This film is really worth seeing. It has a lot to say. If it's not exactly the smoothest or not too much on your nose, best way possible, it does have a lot that's great going for it. I really enjoyed this film. I think it's an important film. I would highly suggest going out to see this. There are some really tense moments, so watch out bringing the younger kids. But I really appreciate the hate you give. Go check it out, and thank you as always supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.